When Windows 11 was launched, it was extremely disappointing to see that Microsoft had implemented a troubling amount of UX limitations. As you may know if you've been using the operating system since day one, or if you watched a particular video that I made last year, there were a substantial number of things that you could do in older versions of Windows that you could not do in Windows 11. Fast forward two years and a number of significant updates later, about half of those issues are still around. However, on the bright side, a number of them have been remedied. So in this video, we're going to take a look at what has changed in the past couple of years for the better. But first, have in mind that the majority of this video can be consumed in just audio form, so if you have anything to do, feel free to do it while listening. Also, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing and becoming a member. It would be much appreciated. One of the most absurd limitations Microsoft implemented in the initial version of Windows 11 was the inability to drag and drop shortcuts to the taskbar. Now, the reasons for this are still not entirely clear. However, the one thing that we can say for sure is that this particularly tragicomic UX downgrade was not met by public approval. Regardless, the folks at Redmond didn't really seem to be in a hurry to offer a remedy. In fact, it took them almost a full year to address the absurd limitation, which was finally lifted with the release of the 22H2 update in September of 2022. From then on, to add a shortcut to the taskbar, you could simply select an icon from the All Apps menu and just drag and drop it on that bad boy like it was your birthday. But of course, that was not the sole issue related to this part of the user interface. Other limitations included the inability to reposition and resize the taskbar, change the size of the icons it contained, access an extensive context menu by right-clicking on the taskbar, ungroup similar windows that were nested on the taskbar, and last but not least, import files into apps by dragging and dropping them onto their respective taskbar icons. Out of all the issues mentioned, only two have been addressed to this day. Now this one was actually pretty easy to miss at first. Let's say you're working on a video project and you want to quickly import some files into the editing software. Even though it's not the recommended way of importing files for stability reasons, what most of us would typically do is open up a folder, select the files we want to import, and then just drag and drop them into the software. But let's say things were displayed a bit differently on the screen and you wanted to do the exact same thing. In this case, since the editing software window is fully obstructed by the folder window, we would first need to drag and briefly hold those files over the software icon on the taskbar, and then when the software window comes back into view, simply release the files like we did earlier. Windows 11 did not offer this capability at launch, and it was only brought back with the 22H2 update. So again, almost a whole year later. For the first two years of Windows 11's lifecycle, there was only one way in which open windows could be organized on the taskbar. Similar windows would always be grouped under one icon, and in contrast to its predecessor, there was absolutely no native option of changing that. Now, if you're someone who never even used Windows 11 to begin with, and all this information is completely new to you, you might be tempted to think that all these things are just one big practical joke you wouldn't be too far off. So during the time that this wasn't even an option in the operating system, if you went into the settings app and did a search just for the word group, you would be presented with a specific recommendation that read, customize how to group similar windows. However, if you clicked on that recommendation, you would be taken to the taskbar settings page where you would find a dead end because the option simply did not exist. And if you thought that it took Microsoft way too long to address the drag and drop capabilities we talked about previously, wait until you hear this. The option to ungroup similar windows on the taskbar was only reinstated in the 22H2 Moment 4 update, which started rolling out in September 2023, meaning that it took them almost two full years to implement a feature that used to be just a basic thing. But to sum things up, in the year of our Lord 2023, you can finally open up the Windows 11 settings app, Go to Personalization, Taskbar, Taskbar Behavior, and next to Combine Taskbar Buttons, choose the mode that your heart desires. One of the more subtle issues users had to deal with in Windows 11 came as a direct consequence of a rather inexplicable quality of life regression. You see, at launch, folder icons in this operating system were almost completely uniform. This, of course, was not the case in Windows 10, which made a clear distinction between folders that contained content and ones that didn't. So if you had a large enough preview, you could see little thumbnails for the containing files, which made it easier to tell folders apart at a glance. In Windows 11, this was not a possibility. Now, while some may have argued that the change wasn't even that big of a deal, 
Other saw it as a downgrade that had the ability of negatively affecting their workflow. Thumbnails on folder icons were brought back to Windows 11 through the 22H2 major update, and while I personally thought that the implementation in Windows 10 was much better, it was nice to see that the folks over at Microsoft were listening to at least some of their users' pleas. With the release of Windows 11, Microsoft introduced a completely redesigned start menu. Comparing it with the one from its predecessor, it was quite obviously far less robust in terms of both aesthetics and function. First of all, the multiple column design was out of the window, meaning that tiles had officially become a thing of the past. Secondly, Microsoft had not provided any alternative for thoughtful app organization, meaning that the only way of keeping things at least slightly tidy was by pinning apps to the pinned app section and then moving them around in order of importance. And finally, the start menu could not be resized. Now, unfortunately, that still is the case. However, on the bright side, the previous two issues have been addressed, at least to some capacity. As of the 22H2 update, Microsoft gave users the ability to create start menu folders, which work pretty much exactly like they do on most mainstream smartphone operating systems. On the other hand, as a constellation replacement for columns, which, by the way, have not made a return and probably never will, users were given the option to choose from three slightly different start menu layouts that merely affect the pinned apps to recommendations ratio. Apple is a company that is rightfully mocked for, quote unquote, inventing features that have existed on other products for ages. Meanwhile, Microsoft sits in the background, takes features out of one of their flagship products, and then unironically offers them as major updates. Who would have thought that the future would be this strange? Huge thanks to channel members who reviewed and offered their contributions to this video in the early draft phase. If you enjoyed watching it, consider subscribing and joining the channel yourself. With that, thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.